We are with Curtis Stone, and today we are talking about really the essence of summer, ice cream. Yeah. What's more important <laughs> on a hot day than a bowl of ice cream? Nothing at all. So you're working on, I wouldn't say cooking with ice cream because we want to keep it cold, but mm -hmm. making recipes out of ice cream, which I think a lot right. of people go, well, why should I go through that effort when it's like really good just spooning it out of the bowl? Right. And you know what? You can, Linz and I, my wife, decided to team up with Bryce because we thought, Celebrating around food has been so important for our family. So when people are thinking about getting started, sort of adding on to ice cream, what are the tenants? Because obviously it's a very particular ingredient. It yep. melts, you can't cook it, you know, it has the temperature has to stay the same. Sure. You can mix things into it but not too much. Kind of where do you even begin? So for me you begin with uh, with the fruits of mm. the year. So if you look at, you know, when strawberries are best, when peaches mm. are best, when cherries are best, and you sort of say, okay, well there's a certain month. I mean I built a restaurant off that basis. Right. How do you mix things into ice cream? You mentioned fruit, you know, there's also nuts. How do you take a base of an ice cream and then add to it? So we started with with the natural vanilla, it's got a unique taste of its own, but it's also a really great canvas to work mm -hmm. a bunch of different things in. Um, and the, the cherry ripple ice cream in this Brookie ice cream sandwich, for instance, it's just cherries, a little lemon juice and some sugar. You cook it down and then the cherries sort of break down, you let it cool, and then you just mix that through some pre-softened ice cream. Um, and then you sort of get this beautiful cherry ripple effect. You pop it back in the freezer, and then you just scoop it like you would normally. I mean, we put it into this gorgeous little ice cream sandwich, which is pretty special. Yeah, and when you think of sort of sprinkling things on to ice cream, obviously everyone sort of thinks of sprinkles, right. but there's a lot of other things. You have honeycomb here. What are the types of things that you can kind of just add to the top of ice cream to give it a little pop? So the obvious one, there's so many different types of nuts. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many different types of fruit and then versions of fruit. You know, you yeah. can dry some fruit out, like you can, mm. you can uh, dehydrate it, uh, you can roast it, you can poach it, you can serve it raw. Um, and then, you know, we made honeycomb for the topping of this one. Mm. Um, you can do, you know, like truthfully that brookie, which is sort of a cross between a brownie and a cookie. Mm. You could let that dry out a little and you could break it up and use that crumble as sort of a sweet topping too. So there's, there's a million different ways you can take it. What are some of the items that surprised you that worked that you kind of, you know, threw in there not really thinking would work quite as well as they did? You know, I've always sort of thought of figs as more of a savory mm. um, fruit, you know, because I serve it with salads and, and right. nuts and that sort of thing and we, I said let's grill some figs or we ended up broiling them in the recipe but the figs that they, they sort of almost have a beautiful texture all by themselves mm -hmm. and when they cooked it becomes more pronounced so that with the velvety ice cream was really cool and let's talk about serving ice cream because I think this is always the hard thing yep. you know it's one thing to sort of make something at home and eat it right away it's another when you spend a long time sort of pulling a recipe together and then you serve it and it doesn't quite you know it melts or it's too right. hard how do you get the ice cream served at the exact right moment. Look, I think one good trick is to take the bowls or the containers that you're going to actually serve mm. it in and throw them on the freezer. So clear mm. out some space, make sure that your bowls are really cold, like do it an hour or two beforehand. Right. So that actually keeps the, the, the temperature of the ice cream where you want it to be. Mm. Um, you can also pre-scoop, like for this, if you're serving a dozen guests, what we'd do in a restaurant environment is we'd pre-scoop the ice cream and put it back on a tray and again, let it get really nice and hard so you can take it off, mm -hmm. pop it in the bowls or the containers that you're going to serve it in so you know, you, you, you're not having to go through that process of scooping to water. Yeah, and you also have kids. Mm -hmm. You can, obviously kids love ice cream. You can cook with kids in ice cream because there isn't a lot of heat and a lot of the stuff that kind of scares parents. Right. Why is ice cream such a great conduit for cooking with kids? It's very hard to be upset with anything in life when you have ice cream in your hand. Yes. Don't you think? It just makes <laughs> yeah. you happy. There's something yeah. that's like happiness a around ice cream. kid and ice cream. Unless they like shove it in your right. face or get it in your hair, then. You know, and even then, I'm not mad at them. I'm like, you know, <laughs> put it wherever you want. I'm enjoying it. Uh, yeah. You know, I think it's something that, you know, as a child, you just dream of. You yeah. know, like, I'll do some incredible things with my kid and we'll have an ice cream that day. And we played this game best and worst at the end of the day and I'm like, what was the best thing? You know, was it that daddy took you to work or we built a tree house together or this or that? And he's like, 
oh, we had ice cream. <laughs> I'm like, how's that the best thing? All the great things we did, but it is, you know, yeah. it's, it's something that um, even as a big kid, you still look forward to. Yeah, you still want to like enhance your life with a little bit more ice cream. Right, mm -hmm. celebrating around food, you know, and that's what's so special about families. Wonderful. Well, where can people get your recipes if they would like them? They're all at brise.com. Wonderful. Well, Curtis, thank you so much for explaining a little bit of how we can spice up our ice cream. Really appreciate it. <laughs> My pleasure.